Welcome back to Kalinga Katribu Usapang Business. And still with us is, of course, the marketing manager of the so clean, so good, so safe Hotel Sogo, Sue Heminiano, who is actually at the main branch in Cubao. Tama ba? Uh, I think you're on mute. Sorry, Sue. In corporate office, I'm not on mute. Do you hear me now? Oh, yeah, I, there you go. I can hear you now. Okay, that's great. All right, so we were uh, talking about, you know, the uh, the beginnings and the branches of the hotel. So uh, in this uh, ha uh, second half of the show, we'll talk more about the hotel. So most of your advertising collaterals are always, you know, patok or catchy. Yun kasi yung patok sa, you know, kung paano kayo tatangkiliki ng mga customers. So may we know what's the catch or what's the secret with Hotel Sogo? Bakit? Well, the one and only secret that I can say and I'm proud of is the continuous research and studies of what our guest wants. Okay. Uh, we always have our uh, regular surveys on what the guest wants to see, wants to experience with our hotel. In that sense, we are able to come up with ideas on the advertisements that we will be putting up. And also, the secret is the people. <laughs> Have good people. Exactly. And I can see that because, you know, by the way you're telling me at uh, this very moment, your team or the way you think about it, you know, or, you know, uh, creating something for the business is actually uh, showing in Hotel Sogo. And it seems like you have quite a creative team. So were you always into marketing when you were younger? Yes, but before I answer that, mm. uh, actually, hindi lang naman ang um, corporate marketing team. Okay. The, ano pa? the best the best part is the staff in the branch. Okay, gotcha. And how they treat the guests, kung paano nila i-treat, kung paano ibigay yung servisyo, yun siguro ang pinaka mas malaking contribution mm -hmm. why people are uh, coming to us. Okay. That's great. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, my hanging question, were you into marketing when you were younger? Most likely, but I'm a nurse by profession. Oh. So, uh, maybe on the first two years working, I was a nurse and then uh, sales and marketing. Okay, there you go. And, um, I'm sorry. So, how was your journey, uh, you know, to becoming a marketing manager of Hotel Sogo? Were you a previous uh, manager or marketing manager prior to joining Hotel Sogo? Uh, yes, I was a sales and marketing uh, of one company, of a pharmaceutical company, before mm -hmm. I, I joined Hotel Sogo. The journey, it's kind of hard because as I have said, I was a nurse and it's not that easy to jump to another career. Yes. Okay, as a salesperson and then I do my own marketing collaterals, my advertising uh, promo materials, I do my own. Mm -hmm. Then I was recognized and I woke up the left. Okay. I became the marketing man. <laughs> That's great to hear. You're actually right. It's actually hard to shift from a different career to another career because it will involve adjustments, you know, sacrifices and dis discipline, I guess. And what do you think is the success or the uh, story behind the success of the Hotel Sogo chain? Apart from you said earlier, the people, uh, do you have anything to add to that? Well, the top management are actually very sensitive to the needs of the employees as well as the guests. Okay. Uh, that that treasure is actually something that that is rare in other companies. That I believe brought us or brought Hotel Sogo to, to a success. In the same manner, each and every one of us have our own uh, Malasakit. Mm -mm. We, we, it's like we own it. Mm -mm. We own what we do and we are responsible to all the things that we, we decide to do within, within the, the company. That one. And uh, 
secret, the idea, and the business model. The business model is actually a sachet philosophy wherein we provide the service and the accommodation as flexible as possible. Flexibility of time and budget. So whatever time, number of hours you need, that's the only number of hours you will pay. It's like a sachet for a shampoo, right? right. So you only pay for how many times you're going to use that shampoo. Exactly. So, the secret, the business model. Okay, that's it. And uh, to date, the hotel has 45 chains, right? So, do you have, or does the management of the Hotel Sogo have plans of, you know, adding more branches nationwide? Yes, and not only in this country, we have plans of, uh, we are seeing ourselves being available in other countries as well. In the near future, we plan, we are really targeting about 100 branches and more. Wow. Yes. Uh, Pagiging parang 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit ba hindi, di ba? Kung, kung yun yung mga kabuti or mga katulong sa mga needy. You know, when I say needy, you know what I mean. So, yeah, tama. So, meron Sang na... trabaho. Oo, oh, oh, tama. It will provide needy, jobs. Yung may kailangan ng tama. job. Mm -mm -mm. Kailangan ng... Yun. Oo. Oh, oh. And, saan countries ba to? Meron na ba kayong target countries? Uh, Asian muna. Asian muna. So, Kailan ba yan? In the near future, like five years from now or a year from now? Meron na ba kayong timetable or timeline? Well, the timeline is somehow within that five years, but we are hoping that we can do even faster okay. or sooner. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's hard to tell. But anyway, at least we know that uh, the chain will boom or will open branches not only in the Philippines but other countries as well and you said uh, said it's gonna be Asian first yeah okay and since you are a marketing manager by you know aside from uh, being a, you know by profession a nurse registered nurse you're also a marketing manager at the moment of course because of the uh, hotel so go so what are or what is your advice for our young katribu or audience you know to become or in pursuing to be in the marketing field for the youngster or the newbies or yuppies, I say. Okay. Hmm. Uh, upon graduating, you don't know yet actually what you really want to do. It is when you have experienced it and that's the only time you will say, ah, this is what I really want. And once you have it, you have to want it really. Not just I, not just that. You have to want it deep inside you so that you will do everything. And whatever hardship you will be experiencing along the way, you will be able to get what you really want. And once you enjoy what you are doing, it is not really working. Okay. Uh, any any, any more thing to add? Or is that it? <laughs> now, as an advice naman to the youngsters or mm -hmm. sa mga yuppies about <laughs> that, so hindi kayo pumasok dahil isipin nyo for oldies or for adults lang ang hotel so mm -hmm. no no it's, it's not. for everyone yes it's yes it's for everyone it could be family it can also be you alone mm -mm. actually i agree naman dyan kasi alam ko uh, yung mga galing sa ibang uh, from different countries or provinces if they want like hindi naman expensive yung matutulugan hindi mo naman kailangan pumunta dun sa mga you know, five-star hotel, ayan yung tinatakbuhan nila, which is actually a good help. You know, okay naman yung room, then, di ba, matutulog ka lang naman, and then, go! Di ba? Nakikita ko yun, kasi dun sa terminal na inuuwian ko, katapat yun, kaya nakikita ko yung mga, yung mga nag-check in, mga, yung, ano yun, may mga mallet, may mga bagahe. Hindi naman lahat, yun lang yung pinupunta dyan, but I, I saw na ganun nga yung setup dyan, which is actually good naman. Di ba? Having my early appointment, mm -mm. Pwede mag-check in at night para maaga ka, hindi ka nababahin. Tama. Mm -mm. Exactly. So, yep. Um, soon na wawala ka. I, can you hear me okay? Yes, okay, I can hear you. Okay, medyo na wala ka nina. Yung sabi mo yung, uh, ano yun? Yung early check-in, yung appointment. Early, 
yeah, if you have an early appointment, mm-hmm. you can uh, check in the night before that para hindi ka na mahagard sa biyahe. Mm-hmm. Or uh, preparing for an important meeting. Mm-hmm. Diba? Let's Tama. say, magpre-prepare ka ng mga four hours, mm-hmm. maliligo, mag- magpapalit ng damit, or before uh, the event. Mm-hmm. Then, Yun. Uh, actually, mga katibu, uh, Su uh, was actually saying or clarifying that uh, you can check in anytime. And like dun sa mga hotel, meron silang prepared check-in and check-out time. So you cannot stay, uh, you cannot check in with this uh, uh, this hour because, you know, they strictly follow this uh, check-in time and check-out time. And then, if you can only stay with this hour, from this hour, you will only, you will pay the, the same exact, you know, uh, fee or, fee, uh, fair to lay, uh, rent or yung fee nung hotel or nung room. So, yun yung sinasabi ni Susatin ngayon. It's not just that, uh, Thing when you're checking into hotel, but other thing. That's what uh, she's trying to say here, mga katibo. <laughs> well, kahit naman ng ibang oras sa ibang hotel, pero babayaran mm-hmm. pa rin nila exactly. 24 hours. That's what yeah. I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to clear with our katibo that that's the case in Hotel Sogong. Okay. Wow! Yung, our, our conversation is actually uh, getting serious, but it's actually over. But don't worry, the show is not yet over because when we get back, we'll have a fun portion of the show. So let's take a break and we'll get back. One hundred point three RJFM. Be updated sa news and happenings katribu. Hatid ng Daily Tribune sa inyo ang mga balitang napapanahon sa loob at labas ng bansa. Kami na ang Welcome back, mga katribu. Kuto kalingin katribu usa pang business. Now, Sue, for this moment, we have a fun little game to get to know you better and on a more personal level. It's called Would You Rather, where you have to choose between two scenarios as fast as you can. So, are you ready, Miss Marketing Manager of Hotel Sogo? <laughs> okay, so first one, drink coffee or tea? Drink coffee. Okay. Go to the beach or hike to a waterfall? Beach. <laughs> Itong pa nga ito, parang ayaw akong itanong kasi alam ko nasasagot mo dito. <laughs> parang gusto ko gusto magagot ito, but I will still ask for the sake of our writer and production team. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Is it gonna be a check-in in a hotel or rent a, a BNB? I'll check in Hotel Sogo. <laughs> Not just a regular hotel. Sure. Hotel Sogo. Sure, kapag bali ka na yung sinagot, you will be fired. <laughs> right? So this is joking. And for the next one, be a movie star, be a movie star or a musical prodigy? A uh, musical prodigy. Oh, okay. Go to space or dive in to the ocean? Dive in to the ocean. Oh, okay. And then, uh, find, oh, this one, parang gusto ko sagutin to, ha? Find true love or win the lottery? Parang win the lottery na lang. <laughs> bakit naman? Bila <laughs> ko tinanong talaga ng bakit naman, eh. No, no, no. You do not have to answer why. <laughs> Just, you know, for fun. And lastly, spend a night in a forest or a night in a real haunted house? Uh, in the forest. Okay. Oye. <laughs> Mura takot din ka ba? <laughs> yeah, nakakatakot din naman talaga. Me too at some point or some air it's kind of scary sometimes. So yeah, it's normal. And uh thank you so much Sue. I truly enjoy our time today and wish we had more. But before we go, this is the moment or the time that you can invite our viewers to visit the so clean, so good, so safe Hotel Sogo. Go ahead. Hi everyone, I would like to invite you to come and check in, experience the So Clean, So Good, So Safe of Hotel Sogo. We are open 24 hours a day with a very flexible uh, time of check-in. We have new rooms by the way. <laughs> All right. And thank you for joining us today, uh, Sue uh, Heminiano, the Marketing Manager of Hotel Sogo Chains. And I want you to stay safe. And we greatly appreciate the time you spend with us this afternoon. 
and for sharing your journey and experiences with us. So I wish you good luck and the chain. So help more frontliners in the future if this pandemic will not yet be over. So I hope you will continue that because it's really inspiring or truly moving to, you know, other hotels and hopefully they will follow what you've done, you know, during the uh, ECQ. Thank you for having us. You're Kim. welcome. And uh, thank you also mga Katribu for tuning in. Watch Kalingan Katribu Usapang Business live every Monday at 3.30 p.m. on Daily Tribune's official Facebook page and on Tribune Now on YouTube. Once again, I am Kim Sancha and this has been Kalingan Katribu Usapang Business. See you next time.